Hey everyone, today we're at this abandoned Popeye's Louisiana kitchen here in Dothan, Alabama. Uh, it's been closed for a couple of months, I know. I know it was right before Christmas, I believe it closed, so let's go take a look. So here's the abandoned Popeye's Louisiana kitchen. It's an older location, but it still has like the shoebox look to it. Man, they really got loud music playing over here at this Oh Charlie's. Let's go take a look at this and see what's going on. Walk up to the front since there's no doors on the side. Oh, it was uh, longer ago than I thought. It was in October that it closed. Okay. They have opened up a couple more locations here in Dothan. There's the inside of it. Completely empty. Training restaurant. Apparently not the same. Apparently it's not anymore. Step out here and you can still see the label scar on the front of it right there. Like I said, this was an older location. So let's walk around and see what's going on. Looks like they kind of forgot about the, uh, the lawn care. Let's see, step right here and take a look. Yeah, there's a good shot. They still got the, the Coke machine in there, it looks like. I came to this location a couple of times, right when they uh, released that chicken sandwich to compete with Chick-fil-A. I came here and it was pretty good. Back when I used to live here. So here's the back, really not much back here. Weeds starting to overtake the, uh, the parking lot. Mini board, all gone. Yeah, I was back home for Christmas and I saw that it was closed. I was like, oh dang, the Popeye's closed. And I meant to uh, film it when I was here then, but here I am in March. It's a really nice day. I'd rather film it this time of the year than wear time anyway. Get your dip on. Let's see. I don't even see the the uh, Mardi Gras honey mustard listed. That must be the equivalent of it right there. Let's they still got a ladder in there. I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Anybody could move in to the location. It's right here off of busy Montgomery Highway. Over here is Buffalo Wild Wings. And there's a hotel on that road right there. Goes to the mall. Little shopping center across the road. There's where the sign used to be. That's what I saw first. Is it, you can't really see the building when you're walking across or coming across this way. Is that trees in the way? Well, I noticed the sign was gone. So there it is. Looks like someone destroyed some of the uh, parking concrete things. I don't remember what you call them. But that's gonna be it for the Popeyes and the O Charlies with the loud music. All right. Well, I'm gonna head on out of here. I got some places to be. I know there is a uh, TGI Fridays that just closed. So eventually I'm going to go film that. And then the Bed Bath & Beyond is closing too. I don't know if I'm going to be, be able to make it there uh, before it closes for good. 
but regardless I'll try to film the uh, the abandoned spot once it does close if I do not get to it before it actually closes but that's a wrap for the uh, the Popeyes here in Dothan Alabama right off of Montgomery Highway luckily there's about two or three other locations in town so Eh, I don't really understand why they closed this location. It's on one of the busiest roads in all of town. And, I don't know. Maybe health violations or staffing issues. But it did say it was a training location on the front door. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to head on out of here. I got places to go, people to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one.